and don't take candy from strangers. If you want sweetness, come on back home. And slave yourself to no one new. Remember to behave yourself. For don't you see? If you behave yourself, then you can come down off the shelf. And do your miss. Mr. Jonas will call for this. Thank you, sir. Hey, mister, my name's Jonas. Got a message for me? Yes, sir. Walk him on Wilshire Boulevard. Dog? Come on, Mutt, this way. What are you trying to do? Trip me up? I thought you were supposed to be trained. Stay right there. Give me no trouble. Stay right there. That's fine. Well? I got... A bag is checked. Did you claim it? Certainly I claimed it. Well, what was it? A dog. A what? And a note. It says the dog is trained to lead us to them. A dog? You, you mean a dog? A four-legged animal? Well, we're selling. They're buying. Hello? Hi, honey. Oh, hello, darling. Pick up anything for you? Milk, butter, gin? No, not a thing. Uh, isn't this a day? It's been such a day, all day today. <sighs> It's a historic day. He's forgotten. Naturally. Mother. Like all men, only worse. I've never seen a man yet who ever thought of anybody but himself. Now, Bill Dan, you hear me and hear me good. 
You know what day this is today? Tuesday, he says. Tuesday. What happened two years ago, May 18th? Well, what happened two years ago on May the 18th? I got married two years on May 18th. That's what happened. Oh. Oh, oh why'd you have to mention it? Now you spoiled it all. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, darling. It's not that I want anything. It's Mother. You know what she's always saying. Well, what kind of a heel am I? Would I forget my own wedding anniversary? It's just I had it all picked out a week ago. Um, is it a Cadillac? Uh, no, it's uh, <laughs> not a caddy convertible. Hey, hey, uh, this is my anniversary, too. What'd you get for me? I'm wearing it. <laughs> um, uh, the neckline might be, um, you know, sort of kind of low. You got the furniture for it, baby. Well, thank you, dear. Now, now, don't leave my present in the cab like you did last year. And, um, uh, Bill. I got a bottle of champagne on ice for just the two of us. Oh, be right there. <laughs> Help you, sir? Yes. I'd like something nice for a lady. Something special. Charming little number. Only $29.95. And the lace is all handmade. Oh, yes. It's for my wife. Uh, we're married. Uh, she's about, uh, uh, well, she's got the kind of shape the world should be in. Now, that's about right. I'll take it. Gift wrap, please. Oh, do you have a card? Right over there, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Satisfactory, sir? Uh -huh. That dog. Your dog did it. What dog? Where did he come from? He came in with you. Have you any idea how much damage he's done? Hey, what is this? He's not my dog. This doesn't even begin to pay for it. Hey, you're crazy. I never saw this dog before in my life. Is it my fault if he... Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, don't. No, but please. Now, you know you don't belong to me. Oh, why don't you go home? this nightgown, see? All gift wrapped under my arm. And I was crossing the street. The pretty big crowd. Uh, when some stranger knocked the package out of my arm. And, and before I could pick it up, uh, some idiot kicked it and, uh, and he kicked it right down the sewer. Down the sewer. Uh-huh. A likely story. Will you stay out of this? 
please, Mother? Oh, oh, believe it or not, Katie, this is how it happened. I was in the store, see? That I just bought this beautiful black nightgown for you. It went some strange dog. Believe me, a total stranger. <laughs> Before you jump to any conclusions. Oh, you wonderful, adorable thing, you! Know? Sweet, sweet. Oh. oh. Happy anniversary, Bill. Oh. Bill. Oh, you darling. Such a little dog. another one. All right, but... You know what this stuff does to me. Yeah, but I trust you. First, we have to wait out that bunch of free feeders and drinkers, mostly your mother's friends, and at our anniversary. Then we have to wait half the night till she goes to bed. It's like before we were married. All we had was my jalopy. Oh, wasn't that something, that jalopy? Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Someday we'll... Oh, no, you've been saying someday, every day for two years now. That we're still living in her house. In five minutes, we could find a place of our own. But I can't just up and leave her all alone. After all, she is my mother. Uh, look, let's find us a place. An extra place. We could sneak off to once in a while and... Oh, oh, baby. We can afford a place of our own. I'm doing pretty good now. I'll do better and better. But we can't... But when two uh -huh. people get married, honey, it's because they want to be together. But we're together. We couldn't be together. Well, what's the difference where we're together? Here, or somewhere else, so long as we're together. Oh, I know, but I... He wants to get acquainted. Well, I want to... At 3 a.m.? He, uh... He is only a pup.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, look. I got to get to work in the morning. You sleep in the kitchen, down below, under the stove. Be reasonable. It's after three. I sleep up here. See? See? Trembling. Oh, what's the matter, baby? Oh, we're not going to leave you alone tonight. Not for a single minute. Suppose a dog had come by. What are you getting mad? For just a few seconds, I closed my eyes. You know that in wartime you could get shot for a thing like that? Listen to who's talking yet. Did I sleep in a soft bed like you all night? No. I stood here all night watching. Think anything's gone wrong? Most likely they're waiting for a lot of people to be around before they make the contact. That figures. Where's the nearest gas station? Six blocks down. Six blocks? You watch till I get back. somebody. Lost Welch Terrier. Uh-huh. My child cried all night. A finder, please return. Reward. Hollywood 96852. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you have? Oh, hold it. I can't hear. My poor baby's crying her eyes out. You see, your dog followed me home last night, and... <laughs> well, this may sound crazy to you, but my wife thinks it's an anniversary present. Oh, I couldn't tell her that it wasn't because her mother would... My mother-in-law... Well, uh, you know how mother-in-laws are. Yeah. Oh, when will you bring... Stop hitting him. We've got the dog. I had a hunch you was on the square all the time. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Sorry, Jonas. Oh, well, don't trouble yourself, sir. I can send for the dog. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got to bring him to you myself. Uh, then I can tell my wife the dog ran away or something and get her another one. Uh, see? <laughs> uh, it's silly, isn't it? Oh, not at all. And 
I'll reward you. No, oh, there'll be no question about a reward. After all, children and dogs. I was a kid myself. I'll get him to you as soon as I can. Uh, sometime today. Certainly, Mr. Jonas. Uh, 1655 North Citrus Road. Uh, goodbye. Oh, good morning, Mother. Hmm. Uh, what's got you up and about so early? Someone had to clean up. How are your friends? Oh. Someone has to get breakfast. Oh, you needn't bother. I can get my own. For the dog. Uh, naturally. Here, doggy. Nice doggy. Breakfast. Archie. His name's Archie. A cake named him that. Last night. Hey! Hey, get ah! it! Go on! Fine thing. Feeding him raw bacon. I did not feed it to him. He stole it. You deliberately put it where he could get it. Do you want to make him vicious? I deliberately did not deliberately anything of the kind. Don't you raise your voice to me. This is my house. Let me remind you. Oh. Ow! Hot, huh? What's going on down there? Your husband's feeding the dog. I am not feeding the dog. Raw bacon. He fed him a whole half pound. I did not. He stole it. Raw bacon. That's ridiculous. I never... You'll get worms. Oh, thank you, darling. You ought to know better than to give a little dog raw bacon. Exactly what I said. It'll make him vicious. Oh, his nose does seem a little hot. He's hot all over. And I, I'd better take him to a vet for uh, uh, distemper shots or whatever kind of shots you ought to have. Now, after all, what do we know about him for sure? Oh, I'll take him. Uh, but do you really think he's ill? Oh, no. Uh, just to make sure. I think that's wise. Stay off my side. Bill! He's my gift to you. It is my responsibility. No, he's my responsibility. Besides, Archie and I ought to start getting acquainted. Yeah, but don't you think I'd better walk him around the block, maybe, and now? Never mind. I'll take him out when I go shopping. I don't mind at all. I I'll take him. Who are you looking for, mister? Mr. Jonas. Seat floor, 21 a Thank you. Yes? Oh, Jonas? Not yet. But he called again. As soon as he delivers, bring the dog here. He said he was having trouble getting the mud away from his wife. He wants to stop by and explain. You better get back here. Oh, you're making problems out of nothing. <laughs> well, it's easy for you to laugh. How do I know I wasn't followed? How do I know this guy isn't some phony? Oh! It's a slight uh, complication. Nothing to worry about. I use your fat head. He's only holding out for more. Double the reward, triple it. When he delivers the dog, kick him downstairs. Hello. Hello, oh, John. Sorry, wrong number. one, of course, he's yours. Uh, but, but she promised me I could walk him tonight. Walk who? Archie. Uh, she said that I... Archie, who's he? The dog. Oh, I am sorry. Uh, she named him that. Uh, my wife. Uh, that is, she named him Archie, because, well, naturally, under the circumstances, we didn't know his real name, so... Whose? Archie's. Uh, I mean your dog's. Oh, Archie. <laughs> well, I'll get Archie to you without fail tonight. Uh, tell my wife you ran away or something and get her another dog. What? Oh, what's the matter with Archie? Uh, well, absolutely nothing. A great little fellow. Uh, but naturally, if he belongs to you, it's... He's yours. Oh, no, that's very kind of Enjoy you. Enjoy I... it. Well, well, what about your child? Now, you said over the phone she was crying her eyes uh, out. She stops. Uh, anyway, it's the wrong dog. It's the wrong dog. But how can you tell without... Screwball. 
odd fellow. Operator. I want a policeman. Yes, sir. Police complaint board, Sergeant O'Neill. I want to report a murder. Yeah? Yes. Who did it? Oh, I did it. All by myself. Who's this? Where's the body? Is this a gang, mister? What's your name? Where do you live? Give me the address. Hey, Russell, trace this call. Now, don't hang up. Now, shut up. Don't go away. Stay right where you are. With all the light, Russell, hurry it up. I can't hold it forever. Take it easy, mister. Keep calm. Don't do a thing. Just sit there. Right where you are. Don't go away. Cops. Maybe if they trip over here, they'll find you. for Jonas to make a move that it show me where the stuff was. But he went for a gun, and I ought to let him have it. <laughs> then, in comes his screwball. And he goes on about some dog the stiff must have lost that he found. The screwball found the dog, see? Tells me his wife never had a dog. Oh, yeah. oh, this dog. I'm interested in this dog. Yes, I thought you hated dogs. No, I'm just some dog that Jonas must have lost and advertised for. This jerk said he had it, but he didn't have it, see? Said tonight he'd have it. Good. Go back and wait for him. Go back? Well, that place will be crawling with cops. You kill him too? I never. I just only knocked off Jonas. The screwball I got rid of. I told him it was the wrong dog. You fool, Gilly. Remember how I was done in London? The Colonel's dog was trained to go to a certain place. Only the dog knew where and it led us there to make contact. Am I dumb? I should have thought. You never do, Gilly. You never do. We, uh, we need this dog, Gilly. We need this dog to make the transfer. Who is this screwball? What's his name? I don't remember. He even gave me his card. He was a dentist. No, he was a chiropodist. If only I can call the coppers, I'll go back and get it. You call the police? To pick up the body. It's our time. Did you go to consider the other tenants? Be quiet. Lost cat, lost dog, lo lost terrier. Dark ears. My child cried all night. So on. He said some kid was crying her eyes, eh? You got something? We advertise the same ad as theirs. Only the address and telephone number will be ours. Cool. Aren't you the one, Freddy? Oh. Archie, please, wheel it that way! 
Say, what is this, a pearl? Where else would I be if not in my office? Where else indeed? Then why couldn't I get you there? Six times I phoned between 2 and 5.30. Where were you? And now, look here, I... Stay right there. I'll get back to you. Yes? Mr. Denny, is he home? Yeah, who is it? Yes. Uh, what's wrong? The police. The police. They want you. Me? Mr. Denny? Yes? You know Mr. Jonas? Jonas? No. Oh, yes. You don't know any Mr. Jonas. Why, well, I, I don't really know him. I met him for the first time today. At his apartment? Yes. What did you say him about? Well, about it... About what, Denny? This yours? Yes, I gave it to him. That checks. We found it in his hand. He's dead. What? Murder. Murder? Murder? You're mixed up in a murder. I knew someday he... Murder, shh! What does she know, Denny? How do I know what she knows? She knows everything. She's my mother-in-law. Yeah. I've had a couple myself. Bill, what is it all about? My what is thing? All right, ladies, all right. Leave us have a word with Mr. Denny. Alone. Thank you. Thank oh, you, poor Mr. Jonas. Such a nice fellow. So generous. Yeah. Give me his last bullet in the back. All right, Denny. Well. About a dog. Jonas lost a dog. I found one. Uh, this one. Uh, he followed me home and, well, sort of became an anniversary present for my wife. Yeah, but for the love of Mike, don't tell her that. Her mother'd never let me hear the end of it. Sounds fishy to me. Uh, is she about it? To look, it's simple. Jonas put an ad in the paper. I thought this was him. So I called him to tell him I'd have him back just as soon as I could take him for a walk. Who? Jonas? A natural? No! The dog. This one. Jonas's dog. Only he's not Jonas's dog. But here, let me show you. Was it this morning's post? Probably be in tonight's telegram. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. Ah! Katie! Ah! Bet. 
Yep. It's Gilly we want, all right. Here. Take a good look at this innocent push. He's wanted in every country you can name, and some you can. Last heard from, he was in the can in Paris. The feds want him, and I want him. Now get out and bring him in. You too, old Rappaport. What's the matter with you two? Why can't you listen? What is this, another irate taxpayer? This is the one who left his card on Jonas. All right, come on, beat it. Get the lead out. Go on, will you? You in charge here? At your service. Well, what kind of a department do you run anyway? Okay. I tried to explain to these two Cossacks. I found a dog. Th let me show you. Oh. And just because I tried to return it, they arrest me. Ah, uh, here it is. Welsh Terrier. Exactly like the dog I found. Just because some fellow got murdered is no excuse. We don't want him. Show the citizen out. My oh, child cried all outside. night. Find her, please, outside. return. Reward. Drexel Towers. Hey. Drexel Towers? Hey, this isn't the same address. Peter. Uh, Go claim the reward. Now, hey, now... Drexel Towers? I don't get it. I've told you and told you, but no, you wouldn't listen. Will you stop it, Mother? He didn't murder anyone. Well, you know, it's he called. They hold all murderers incommunicado. That's why. Please, Mother, please. Oh, I'll brain him. I'll, I'll, I'll kill him. I'll absolutely crush every bone in his head. Five. Oh, there you are. Uh, well, you're right. Where's the you? Why didn't you phone? I've been trying to get that idiotic wire all evening. Oh, are you guilty? What did you do? Tell me! Hey, hold it, will you? Uh, uh, tell me everything. Uh, why did you do it? Oh, darling, I'll try and understand. Uh, take it easy. It wasn't anything, I tell you. Nothing at all. Nothing at all? Nothing he says. So, what they want with you? Who is this man was murdered? I don't know. Somebody I met. But for a minute. Why'd they drag you away? Because I met him and talked to him for a minute. I meet a lot of people. Routine checkup. Man murdered, they usually ask questions. And you are involved. Mother. Naturally. I murder somebody every day. Hmm. What's with her? She hoped she was going to a hanging. Yours. Just the same. I had to flail you to your welcome rings. Uh, by the way, uh, Mother's leaving. Three chairs. Florida? Only for the evening. A modern art lecture. Oh. Oh, well. They're two chairs for modern art. Archie needs a walk. When's mother going? In about uh, 15 minutes. Back in 16. front paw. Yeah, I think we match the description pretty accurately. What about sex? Sex? Ah, the fires of youth. I mean, is this dog the right sex? Oh, uh, well, they don't mention which. But this one will do fine. All I need is an animal to get me in to see who our friends are. Mr. Newmy is obviously one of them. Uh, no. You remain here, Gilly, in case your screwball friend answers our ad. What if he answers this one? Newmy's. In that case, I shall be there to welcome him. 
Come along, Dougie. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. Harbour Drive, number seven. Anybody home? Oh, you know you're home, huh? <coughs> I beg your pardon, sir. I hope I'm not disturbing you. I knocked. The door was open, so uh, I came in. It's about your advertisement for the dog you lost. Why, it's Mr. Jonas. But you're supposed to be... Nothing new. But it's after two. So it's after two. So maybe he's been a little delayed. Why don't you just go back to bed? Mother, I'm scared. There now. He's probably only on a bender. What did I tell you? <laughs> and just where have you been all this time? You were going to be back in 16 minutes. I took a walk. You took a walk? I, I walked for hours trying to think. Walking in your condition? 
Couldn't you phone if you suddenly decided to have a roll in the gutter? Oh, look at you! Oh, please, honey. Not now. I, I'm upset. You're upset? What about me? Expecting the phone to ring any minute and have the police tell me they found your body. Body? Cherchez la femme, I always say. Where's he been and who is she? Not that he'll tell you anything but a big fat lie. I've never seen the man oh, yet. No, no. Go away. Well, if I'm going to be spoken to like that by my own daughter in my own house. How sharper than a serpent's tooth. <laughs> I'm sorry I blew up, darling. I know with her around all the time, it's murder for me. Murder? Uh, it's not that. It, well, it's... Then what is it? Is anything wrong? Are you sober? Oh, no. I mean, certainly I'm sober. Do I look drunk? Yes. But I don't suppose a little hair off the same dog will make much difference. Dog. Oh, look, Katie, there's something I gotta tell you about Archie. You're feverish. Your head's hot. Oh, Archie's hot. Very hot. He's the hottest dog in town. He's stolen and, and, and wants some more. Uh... What's he doing here? I thought I lost him. Oh, he's not lost or even stolen. He came back all by himself and on time. Now, where were you? Not now. I'm going to take him for a walk. Oh, brandy legs. You'd never make it to the corner. You're going to bed. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Later, later. I tell you, we've got to get rid of him right away. Now, he's the kiss of death. He's get the... rid of Archie. Of course. Since the dog's a witness to what you've been up to all night. If Archie could only talk. If he only could... Twice, Mr. Jones. You've been murdered twice. and comfy, aren't you? You like it here, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Freedom! Find yourself a lady friend. A dollar forty nine a pound. Nice juicy lamb chop. And then, there it is. It's all yours. What's the matter, boy? Don't you trust old Bill? See, it's right out here. Open up. Open this door. Wait. Just you wait till I get my hands on you. See, you're home again, Mr. Denny. Yeah, the, the dog locked me. I mean, I got locked out. The door swung closed. I'll go in through the window. Here, give me a hand. 
Why didn't you ring the bell? I didn't want to wake them. If I didn't have any consideration for others, don't you suppose I would have rung the bell? Oh, sure. Certainly, Mr. Denny. Good night, O'Hara. Good night. Reporting in. Nothing. Oh! On that man missing alert. Name of Denny. Yeah, that's him. Well, he's not missing anymore. Jonas and walked in here on my own free will to tell you I found his body. Wouldn't I be crazy? The only reason you're not in a straitjacket right now is on the count of we don't have one handy. In all my 34 years on the force, I never heard of any stiff getting knocked off twice. And in two different places. Homicide Orion. Homicide Orion. You sure? It's Gilly the Blade. Now then, old Denny, maybe you're not as crazy as you seem. The body you said we'd find is there, all right. Only it's not Jonas. I tell you it is. I was as close to him as I am to you. Uh, I'd know him anywhere. It was Jonas in that bathtub with the extra hole in his head. We've had Jonas on ice in the morgue ever since. Is that him? Yes. Poor fellow. What about this one? I never saw him before. This one's Jonas. The first one was Gilly the Blade, the same one we just found dead. Now, as I see it, Gilly must have killed Jonas just before you got to Jonas' apartment. Now do you understand? Well, he... he might have murdered me, too. An oversight. He could have. Like that. You want to tell us now how come you went to the Drexel Towers and found Gilly? What did you want to see him about? About a dog. I told you. Just like I went to Jonas's apartment. The ad in the paper, then the other one. And this one. Don't give me that daffy taffy pull again. All you have to do is read it. If you can read. Large cat, large bracelet, large dog, dark ears, dark saddle. Well, that's it. Dark right front paw. Mr. Numi, Siemens Hotel. Huh? What's a flea bag like the Siemens Hotel got to do with the Drexel Towers? Uh, oh. Oh, my. Better get to this Siemens Hotel. If I found a body at the Drexel Towers through this ad, maybe this one. Come on. You two are here. That's what I call a charmingly furnished room. The 
a dog followed me home. My wife thought I'd bought an anniversary present. I didn't tell her the truth, figuring I'd return the dog, tell her it ran away, buy her another one. Well, the first ad was Jonas, and he's dead. Then this Gilly, the one I thought was Jonas. His ad, he's dead. Now these other two. Oh, where will it all end? I don't know. Seen any more ads? Now then, old Denny. Who's this gnome here with Fat Freddy? I tell you, I don't know. Mm. Probably all in it together. <clears throat> Had a falling out and Gilly knocked Jonas off. Then Jonas, uh, I mean Fat Freddy, knocked Gilly off to even the score. So Gilly turns right around and knocks... But who did for Fat Freddy and this foreigner? I'm old Denny. No, I mean Denny. You. <clears throat> Who's this gnome? <clears throat> what do you know about him? Nothing, honest. He, he checked in three or four days ago off a tramp ship. Anybody visit him? Yeah. Who? Oh. Him. <clears throat> now what? Full across the hall, said he heard an argument, and then two quick shots. Two shots. Two bodies. Sounds like a reliable witness for once. What else? Uh, then he said he saw two guys come in. Uh, two different guys. Uh, after the shots. Well, why didn't he report it? Figured it was normal for here. What about two other men? Yeah, yeah, there's two fellas, but they only stayed a minute. Know them? No. The dog. What about that dog? Archie? Who's Archie? The dog. Oh, he couldn't have done it. Oh, when he wasn't with me, he was with my wife. There's a connection. There's got to be. That's what I've been telling you. The dog is hot. He's the kiss of death. He's... Oh, my... My wife, my Katie, she's in danger. They'll kill her, too. Let me out of here. Ah, so, your wife's in this, too. Are you nuts? She's probably out with him now, walking. With who? Archie. Aha. Who's Archie? Oh, the dog. Archie's the dog's name. Please, she's with him. They'll kill her, too, like they kill all these others. <laughs> Find us a couple of fleas. Get that mud out of here. Here is yours. Oh, he's not mine. I don't want him. I don't want him either, see? Your wife wants him. He's your anniversary present. Oh, Huh? <laughs> 
You sound funny. Are you, you sure you're all right? Oh, never better. Never richer. Bill, don't say a word. Stand on your rights. We can afford the best lawyer there is. I know you couldn't have done whatever it is you did. Oh, come on, come on. Let's count it again. Uh, Bill? Huh? Hey. Uh, you know what to do with him. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Oh, fellas, where are you taking me now? So much for you. Are you sure that'll hold him? Yes. Pay me when you pick him up. Here, you need this receipt. The soup is getting cold. Like ice. Two dollars a day. You want him bathed, clipped? So it's getting cold. Uh, they hate that, don't they? Yes. Do both. All day, I'm melting over a hot stove. Believe me, she's got a long ways to melt. <laughs> Shut up, you flea-bitten mutt. John Lincoln's beard. Look at that 20. Notice anything odd about Andrew Jackson? Now look carefully at his nose. It's running. And don't you say so, he's got a cold. Oh, I don't get it. Why would the man give it to me if it's no good? Why, why would any eccentric rich millionaire deliberately fool a trusting, unsuspecting girl he doesn't even know? And that's what makes him eccentric. Bring him in. This is my wife. Yeah. Uh, darling, uh, tell him. Oh, yes, I'm his wife. Congratulations. Uh, no, I mean about this money. Oh. A man gave it to me. What man? Uh, a man I never set eyes on before. My husband says it's all counterfeit. I can see it's phony, lady. Any idiot, even a blind one, could tell. Now, look, old Danny. We specialize in murder here, homicide and all like that. Why don't you take this to the proper authorities? Because I'm convinced this has some connection with these murders. And so has the dog. Oh, no. Dog? What dog? Oh, uh, Archie. I wouldn't put anything past I that dog. What in the world are you talking about? Will you kindly not... shut up and uh, not interrupt and I'll tell you... I will you not shut up and you keep still when I'm interrupting. Can you tell me what he's raving about? I wouldn't presume. Well, can anyone? Then uh, just how could my little dog know anything about this counterfeit money? Will you please let me explain? Go ahead. Explain. I'm listening. Hey, well, it all began when I... Hey. Go ahead. Go on. Go ahead. Oh, we brought him the money. Let's go home now. Oh, Mrs. O'Denny, uh, are you under the impression that your husband purchased that dog for you as an anniversary present? Of course I am. Certainly he did. Uh, darling, let, let's... Uh, uh, according to your husband's testimony, he did no such thing. He says, your husband says, that he, the dog, followed him, your husband, home. He, the dog, was lost or something. He forgot it was your anniversary. Your husband forgot. Not 
a dog. Never. I never forgot. What's he talking about? Bill, is this true? Well, I didn't forget. Look, I tried to tell you last night that I... But was... the anniversary card was in Archie's mouth. And it said, Happy Anniversary, Darling. And it was in Archie's handwriting. It was in your handwriting. Archie picked it up after I wrote it to put it in the box with the nightgown I bought. Nightgown? What nightgown? But for you. I bought it for you. You didn't buy me any nightgown. Sure I did. Uh, that, that is, I started to. And then Archie broke the showcase in the store. Uh, I mean, at the car. You've been acting very uh, strange Archie lately. Man. I'll take you home now. Do that, lady, and keep him there. Uh, why'd that man give her the money? Uh, why did he pick her to serve a briefcase full of money if it wasn't because she was with that dog? Uh, why was Jonas killed? Uh, that nice, uh, that Mr. Gilly, too. Uh, what about those other two men murdered in that hotel? Why? On account of that dog. I tell you, that dog knows plenty. Oh, what nonsense. Now Archie's a murderer. Honey, calm yourself. Uh, we'll go home now. Uh, can I have Archie, too, please? He's got him. Uh, I, d he's lost. Lost? He ran away. Archie, he never. I tell you, he did. Why would he when he adores us? He ran away, and, and we're lucky he's gone. You've done something to him. Oh, don't you understand? That dog's responsible. You'll for... get him back. I'll get you another dog. Archie. Or else. Copper. I'll get you a bigger one. I want Archie. And I'll come back here and get him. My own wife, my own flesh and blood. Shut up, you mutt. and Denny live here? No, they moved. I seen her ad. It sounded like this. Here's her dog. Some guy boarded it with me. A shifty-looking character he was. I... Say, ain't you him? Oh. Uh, sure you're him. I don't get it. Archie! That's all right. Thanks just the same. Wait a minute, mister. You trying to pull me out of my reward? Six bucks. That's a reward? What about his cage and board? I stuffed him and warmed him, and he bit me twice. Send me a bill, may a check. Hey, lady, what's this guy pulling? Oh. Here. Twenty bucks. Thank you. Hey! No nose! It's a phony! I like it. Good night. Oh, darling, darling. Huh? Oh, you big mallet head, you. Oh, I couldn't take another night of mother snoring. Reward. Uh, that man, just now, they, him. He said you advertised. So? I'll cancel the ad in a little while. Well, oh, okay, Katie, I got... Oh, come on, darling. Mother will be away for hours. Uh, Dianetics tonight. We've got the whole house all to ourselves. Ah. Oh, what's with you, some lover? Uh, look, Katie, let's go for a walk or something. It's a wonderful night of big moon, it's, stars. It's raining now. Oh, well, let's go to the movies. A terrific picture. Of... You want to go to a movie now? Sure, why not? Bill Denny, what are you doing? I've got my nightgown on. It's adorable. What's the matter with you? Oh, company. No. Yes, huh? Yeah. Okay, lady, leave us have it. What, what, what do you want? want? Fix that. Uh, uh, who are you? Never mind. Uh, that's the man who gave me the money. Yeah. Sit down. 
Huh? You heard me. Sit down. If you don't mind. No, stay here. This is our house. Shut up, lady. Shut up. And go get it. Uh, yes, darling. Yes. Shut up. Are you going to just sit here and let these these two, I don't know what, uh, treat us like this in our own house? Uh, yes, darling. I'm going to sit just sit right here. Mm -hmm. Very quietly. He's smart, lady. Be like him. He's a coward. <laughs> yes, sir. I certainly am. They always take ether to get my haircut. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> are you going to have this? Yes, dear. Get it, lady. Get it to us quick. Then we brought it to the police. Police? Yes, police. And even if we did... Stop horsing around. I ain't got no time for no gas. <laughs> hey, it's me, you dumb mother. It's me, buddy. tell you, we brought the money to the police. A hundred G's. You mean you give the cops a hundred G's? Yes. And it was no good. Any idiot, even a blind one, could tell that money was phony. Phony? You mean I passed a hundred G's in the queer? No, no, she stole a nice Oh, yes, you asked Mr. O'Ryan. He's in the homicide department where they have murders and things. The money, babe? Well, I got the dirt money. I got a guy. Stuff too, that's neat, huh? Huh? You don't you don't think that I would double cross a pal, do you, Max? Yeah! <laughs> Katie! Oh my Katie! Oh, oh my Katie! Two more. Yes, not counting my wife and Archie. You know, the dog. You mean to say you... Be right over. Go. My, they're fast. Good evening, sir. Mrs. Catherine Denny at home. Uh, you're not the police. This uh, advertisement for a lost dog. Oh, oh there he is. Yeah, you can take him. Welcome. Oh, a party, huh? Strangers to me. They shot each other. That's my wife. I had a cop. Where's that money? Them guys must have had it on them. That hard. Quickly, quickly. The money, please. Come on, come on. We can't wait all night. Get me out of here quick and nothing funny. The fire escape. Open your mouth and you're dead. The other one. I'll be covering you from out on the... Oh, Rappaport, look around upstairs. Who had it? Well, the nice assortment. Never mind her. Hey. Oh, Denny. Oh, Denny. You know who you got here? Don't tell me. There's a fortune in rewards, about five grand a piece. You'll find five more grand out that window. It's moving. Bring them out. Help me sort these. Pete the Pusher. You got Max the Umbrella, Short Weight Bert, and now Pete the Pusher, no less. It's a clean-up. How did you do it? Oh, Katie. 
Oh, my kid. I knew it. He's murdered her. If I told her once, I really don't. finally rounded up the entire gang. Furthermore, as a result of the daring, unarmed, and single-handed capture by the fearless Mr. O'Denny, okay, the gang girl, of counterfeiters were also apprehended. Numerous rewards have been posted for the... We've heard it all nine times. Oh, do we get a reward for the counterfeiters, too? Sure. Oh, boy, am I going to pay an income tax this year? Oh, well... These two are the ones that put me in a higher bracket. Okay, eat your chops, you hero, you. What chops? Well, you've eaten them already. I didn't even see them. Well, certainly you did. Two line lamb chops. Now eat your vegetables. What are you talking? Aw, oh, isn't that cute? No. Oh, never mind, dear. I've got a lovely steak for our in the icebox. I'll fix it for you. Huh? It'll only take a minute. Ouch. Oh, no, you shouldn't he? In his own house? If you behave yourself, then you can 